Hi and welcome to another episode of Roxy's Ride and Inspire back from Mallorca, Spain. I was traveling Europe for about seven weeks now, coaching in Germany and Austria and Italy. It was a beautiful time, but now I'm also really happy to be back home in beautiful Mallorca. Today I would like to share with you five of the most common riding errors that not only beginners, but also riders who have been riding for over 20 years tend to do and how to correct them. These riding errors, unfortunately, really limit your riding, your ability to develop your riding. So your ability to improve and so they help you hit a plateau. So if you do these riding errors, then make sure to correct them to progress. Here they are. Error number one is sitting down too much when you're riding trails. As you can see, when I'm sitting down, I have very limited range of motion. So actually, I'm a complete passenger and the bike is riding me. Now in contrast, you can see when I'm standing up and I'm balanced on my bike, I can move my arms and legs to actually balance out what the bike wants to do with me. So I'm the pilot and not the passenger. So if you recognize yourself doing this, then you might want to change it. Error number two is shifting your body weight back. I have done videos about this, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here. I'll just link these videos below. So below in the description, you can find the videos about this. So you want to stay balanced in your bike and not move your weight back. Why? Well, watch the other videos. Error number three is, and I see this a lot of times in, especially actually in advanced riders, and that is dismounting to the front. As soon as you dismount to the front, it's pretty dangerous because from there going over the bars happens very fast. Now in contrast, you can see me dismounting at the same place to the rear. And I have my bike safe and I myself am also safe. Here you can see the dismount in contrast. Can you tell the difference? I know this might sound like kind of an unnecessary correction or why is that an error? However, if you're dismounting to the front, you're really limiting the kind of trails you can try. If you can dismount to the rear, like I've said, I have a video about it and it's linked below, then you will be able to progress your riding to a completely different level. So make sure to really practice dismounting to the back of your bike as kind of an anchor so you know I know I can ride into a terrain and even if I if I'm not able to ride it I can get off my bike safely and that's why being able to dismount to the rear of your bike is so important the next error that I commonly see is that people are braking too much with their rear brake so they're not using the brakes evenly and not modulating the brakes but they trust their rear brake too much this will cause strain and most importantly it will cause you to lose control if you really want to have control over your bike then make sure to use both brakes in a modulated fashion and ideally only to use your index finger to brake because your index finger is the only finger you can use from your brain independently from the others what i mean by that is if you use your middle finger to brake too and you're pulling the brake then you're also gripping the grips harder but if you let go of the brakes then you're also letting go of the grip that's because your middle finger is attached to the other fingers however if you use only your index finger then you can brake and you can still grip your grip as hard as you want it to as hard as you want to grip it is what I meant which is why you really improve your control in the trail if you use both brakes and you only brake with your index finger and the next error is actually one that I see in almost all riders to tell you the truth and that is that they are progressing too fast and then they are building up errors in their foundation. 
What I mean by that is that every skill, especially the advanced skills, have prerequisites. And if you advance too fast, so if you start practicing the harder skills earlier, then you will have errors in your foundation and you will take these errors with you to your advanced skills. Here's a practical example. A lot of riders want to learn nose pivot turns and rocking for tight turns, but actually the foundation for this is excellent balance skills and really being able to control tight turns. Acknowledge the fact that you will need professional guidance, for example, by a full-time coach, and you will need a lot of practice. In YouTube videos, you will see the results, not the hours and hours of practice that's required. Booking the help of an ideally full-time coach, either online or in person, is actually one of the smartest things you can do to tune up your writing skills. Because learning skills in a logical step-by-step -step progression will really give you lasting results. In contrast, if you teach yourself and if you automatize movements, it will be much harder to relearn afterwards. I really hope these tips help you and I would love to hear from you. Comment below if you would like to book me as a coach. My contact details are below in the description. Goodbye and see you again for my next video.